Here at Webster City Custom Meats, our bacon production accounts for 55% of our overall production. Our production has grown dramatically in the last decade, and we have been doing our best to increase our production uh, to meet our demands. There were three objectives for this project. These include reducing the throughput time by 20%, the storage space by 15%, and an increase in bacon production space by 20%. For the current state analysis, the group performed multiple methodologies. A value stream map was constructed in order to identify and reduce waste in reference to economic impact, and this allowed us to establish value-added and non-value-added time. An inventory analysis was performed to quantify the current inventory practices. The observed time study gave insight into issues that will affect layout changes. In addition, we were able to obtain a baseline for slicing throughput that can be tested after changes. The observed work sampling study allowed the group to determine the non-value added tasks. Next, we prioritized these tasks as the goal was to reduce these tasks as much as possible. A material flow and space analysis was generated in the current state layout. This showed the group inefficient usages of space and possible improvement methods. Three different layouts of varying levels of change were proposed, which should allow WCCM to make changes gradually instead of all at once. Layout 1 involves the removal of an adjacent holding cooler which will allow nearby lines to be straightened out and improve material flow through the central aisle of the bacon room. Layout 2 removes two more coolers and moves the presses to an adjacent room, allowing the platter lines at the top of the screen to be moved out from the crowded maintenance area and a new line with an old slicing machine in storage to be installed, which will reduce the amount of overtime necessary in the facility. Layout 3 is the most ambitious and involves the removal of all adjacent holding coolers to the bacon room installation of a rail system to feed a dedicated press on each line in the room. This will completely eliminate the holding cooler step and dramatically reduce the amount of in-progress inventory that WCCM has. Bacon is then taken off trees or cages, pressed, and placed on these pallets, stored in these coolers. In order to reduce the amount of times that material handlers have to go look for pallets of bacon, we decided to come up with an inventory labeling and tracking system that will help the material handlers find the bacon. This material tracking system involves having high visibility cards along with boards on the outsides of each cooler that allow for the material handlers to look and see if the pallet they are looking for is actually in that cooler before going in there and searching for it. For each of the different layouts, we broke down the return on investment that WCCM would be able to make from implementing each layout. Layout 1 ended up with a yearly savings of $39,000 and a space repurposing savings of $141,000, which will result in the return on investment of 3 months. Layout number 2 had a savings yearly of $111,000 and a space repurposing savings of $450,000 with a return on investment of 3.2 years. Layout number three had a yearly savings of $124,000 with a space repurposing savings of $546,000 with a return on investment of 4.6 years. 